I feel like this is my calling. I guess a lot of times, um, just about every day in fact, the guys ask me, have you ever taught before? And yes, I have. And they say, well, how is this job compared to that? And I tell them, this is the best job I've ever had. It is one of the most rewarding jobs that I've ever had. And the fact that I show up each day with a group of teachers that do not ever question their role. They love their role. They're excited about their role. And the offenders or students are just as excited. Uh, I want to go to a trade school uh, for auto mechanic. And you can't without a GED or a high school diploma. So this in turn has has helped me you know, to achieve that goal. Well, I learned a lot about myself. I mean, I'm not going to lie, getting my GD was hard to, it was a hard thing to do. I got frustrated and I would get upset with myself, but my teachers pushed me and they worked with me. And they kept me motivated so that I can attain something that, like I said before, it can't be taken from me. And with that, I have an example I can say for my daughter now for her to pursue her education as well. I'm here to give them the tools to learn math and, and English and all of those things but also how to live, just how to, how to be a good person, how to be a good citizen. I would give them the advice to take advantage of the GET program here, as well as every other educational opportunity that they offer. I mean, you have the time to take advantage of these things and it doesn't cost you a penny, you know, so. Any type of education that you can attain, it's something that you can't lose upon incarceration. You know, out there in the world, we lose a lot of things, families, relationships, things of that nature, but you, don't, you cannot lose your education. They can't take it from you. The classes are full. Um, the teachers are excited. And uh, we have got great things going on at Bridgeport Correctional Center. Mm -hmm.